Hey everybody, Pastor Jim Cruz here, lead pastor of Atmosphere Church. And today I am in the new space to give you a building update. And what better person to give us an update than our general contractor, Rick Pratt, who is also part of our Atmosphere fam. So Rick, tell us how is the progress going on this building? It, it's going well now, Jim. It's been, a, been a, a long process, a lot of hurdles to get past, didn't expect. Might have been a little overly optimistic on some of it, but we are drywalled now. This yes. is exciting. Um, got our last permit, mechanical permit, a couple weeks ago. We, we passed all the inspections first time, praise God. And we've been drywalling for two weeks. We are now at the, at the home stretch where nothing should get in the way of delaying progress. We've got all the mechanical systems set on the roof, all the electricals in and tied out. All that stuff's brand new, Jim. Through this permitting process, they made us bring the code, this building up to current code. We changed the occupancy, triggered uh, the building department here at the city to say, hey, with this occupancy, this needs to be brought up to the 2023 standards. So we've got a better building. We have new air conditioners, new electrical, new plumbing. Everything's new. Everything's new. It's a brand new building. And, and, it's, built, and it's been baptized by water and with fire. Oh man, <laughs> tell me about it. Tell me about it but new insulation, um, a soundproofing from the volleyball club that moved in oh. during the process, made a bunch of noise. We had to build a secondary wall, insulate both that was a walls. It, it was, Jim, that cost us like 50,000 bucks. Wow. That. But during these delays, we had time to look at the building, feel it out, be in here a lot. We've extended the, the mezzanine, the balcony all the way across. I think we got another 50 seats out of that. We had a classroom upstairs. Which is great. That wasn't on the plan. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get 30 kids in there. It's gonna be nice. Um, yeah, it's exciting. We shouldn't have any delays, permitting wise or anything. Everything's been ordered. We're working, we're waiting on some light fixtures to arrive, but it's just set and finish and getting in here. So what do you think time wise? Uh, when do you kind of see us being able to move in? Uh, I could see Valentine's Day being a good time for the first service possibly. I love it. We got a, a Valentine's gift. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of tech to go in here still. Yeah. And I'm not sure exactly how long that'll take. We've got an LED wall to put up. I mean, speak. There's just a lot. It's gonna be. It's gonna be an epic building. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be good. Epic. We're we're um, we're close though. We're at that final stretch, and it's exciting. Well, on behalf of everyone here at the church, bro. Well done, thank you for everything that you're doing. And as we approach the end of the year, some of you have even asked me personally like how you can give specifically to the church. And I can't think of a better cause right now to give towards our story as a church than to help us move into this building really with all of these extras covered. So if the Lord would put an amount on your heart to give above and beyond, uh, for an end of the year gift, any amount that you give would be greatly appreciated. And thank you all for the generosity that you've given towards our church because without that generosity, we wouldn't even be in the space, even in this stage that we're in right now in the building of our new space. So thank you guys again. Have an amazing new year and let's go 2024. Mm -hmm.